And three, two. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are back, back, back. And oh dear God, guys, do you know, it's, we're almost in mid-March and it's almost snowing here in Ireland. I just went out there a minute ago and it's, God, I gotta tell you lads, if you're not in Ireland, the Irish climate's so bad, it's so up and down. To, like tomorrow morning, we could literally have a heat wave. Like, I'm not joking you, like, it could be 15 degrees. Well, 15 degrees is not a heat wave, but 50, 15 degrees for Ireland? That's a fucking heat wave in March, let me tell you. And then 15 degrees tomorrow, and then in two days' time, it could be minus four. I mean, it's so unpredictable, the Irish weather. It's unbelievable. So, guys, if you're ever visiting Ireland, bring your jackets, even in the summer. Believe you me. Bring your jackets. I mean, it's a gorgeous country anyway. You know, there's so much to do, so many things to, to see and do. Plenty of good Guinness, but uh, when it comes to the weather, bring your jacket just to be safe. So, guys, let's get into it today. And this actually, you know, so much doom and gloom at the moment. It's, you know, we're going to try and keep this light today, you know, um, because there is a bit of, I think there's a bit of a happy ending here. Uh, which is nice. And uh, girl is going out with a guy, but the boyfriend's dad is a racist. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. That's not good. That's not fucking good. <laughs> I mean, my heart goes out to this girl. And anybody that, that goes through this type of scenario, you know, where... Oh, the in-laws. Isn't that what you call them? In-laws? The boyfriend or girlfriend's parents yeah like if they're i mean it's very it's it's hard that's hard to even get by because you're fucked before the get-go you are fucked before you ever meet them you're up against it i mean you're not even up against it you're you're out of the game if they're racist you know and if you are a different skin color to your boyfriend or girlfriend obviously you know um I mean, Jesus, what's worse? Like, is it being a racist or a gay basher, you know, pa parents like that? I mean, God, that's horrendous to go through. But this girl, anyway, she's been going out with this guy, uh, what's it, I think seven, eight months. So, like, they are exclusive. Boyfriend and girlfriend. And <laughs> this guy invites her over to the house uh, to meet the parents, right? Weird the way he, this happened. So he invites her over, and before, just before they get there, he drops the bombshell that the, the dad is, I think, did she say, quite racist. Trying to, like, sugarcoat it, you know? Like, how the fuck can you sugarcoat that one? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, of course, this girl tells me that, you know, she's shocked, and she's like, are you serious? What the fuck? What, what am I going to do now? You really want me to go in? I mean, isn't this like the Nazis versus the Allies? The Allies versus the Nazis? You know, I mean, fuck me. Is this like the, you know, a black guy marching up to a Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan person? Maybe not that extreme now, but Jesus, if the person's racist. I mean, the fact that the guy's calling his dad a racist, that's got to be pretty bad, right? Because no one wants to think of their dad as a racist, surely. I certainly would not like, I would hate that, you know? Or I certain, or, okay, I understand that there'd be people out there looking for a bit of attention, you know? Oh, poor me, my parents, they're racist and this and that, but, or, you know, they're, yeah, and, you know, I, I just can't get on with them and they don't want me around anymore and, you know, and I never get a break with them, you know, the victim bullshit. But when it comes to the racist card, that just looks bad on you. Do you know what I mean? Like, this boyfriend, this looks bad for him, too. Like, because what does this guy think now? Surely, okay, if somebody hears this story, like, if this girl, which clearly she's going to tell her friends, no doubt about it, why wouldn't she? Like, her friends are going to be wondering, well, hang on a second, what does he feel about certain races or skin colors and stuff, you know? Like, so... This guy's Irish, so he's a white guy, right? Um, and she's Asian. So she's also got the the Asian skin color, right? Now, 
if I'm going out with her, I like, I just, I, there's no way I can do this. Like, I'm, guys, we're going to put into the justification rule here, right? We're going to try and justify both sides of the parties here, the guy and the girl, and let's see if we can kind of come to a happy medium here, because it just, it, do, it mind boggles me, this one, why this guy would even bring his girlfriend along to, st to meet the fucking dad, you know? So let, let's justify it on his end. Let's start with him. Okay, his dad's racist, doesn't like blacks or Asians or whatever skin color, okay? Um, I know this. Now, again, we're trying to justify it for him now, guys, guys right? And believe me, this is just a stupid, like, uh, trial and error here, all right? To see what we come up with because I don't agree with him on any accounts here. But let's, for pig and shits, let's try and justify this. So, okay, my dad's a racist, so, okay, he's kept her away from the house for this long, even though it's only been eight months, so it's still soon enough. But okay, maybe that's why he didn't bring her to the house soon enough. All right, understandable. Okay, why didn't he bring it up sooner? He obviously doesn't want to bring up an awkward scenario. Maybe she'll dump him. Maybe he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. Maybe she doesn't want to feel awkward or there's going to be a wedge between their their uh, their relationship now. Okay, I can understand that. You know, when do you bring up this fucking magic fucking scenario, you know? Um, is this guy a little racist? Now, hear me out, fellas and ladies, right? Hear me out on this one. Maybe dad's such a maybe the dad is such a prick that he resents his dad because he wasn't there for him when he was younger or he just resents him in general he's just a prick of a man right and he's always been an asshole in general maybe he actually picked this girl because he wants to piss his dad off maybe he's trying to poke the fucking bear here now i hope it's not this scenario i really do you know but I think, I think it, if you are in this scenario, I think it's actually quite important for you to, to, to have this in your head. And believe me, guys, I don't want to be fucking anybody up here. Okay? I don't. I don't want to be putting bad things in your head. But you know what? These bad things are going to come into your head whether you like it or not because all it takes is one person to say one thing out there, right? Whether it's a bad or good thing. And all of a sudden, your mind starts going a million miles an hour. And the chances are, you've probably thought about this anyway in some way, shape, or form. Or you've thought about it in the back of your head, and you don't want to admit it. But you know what? The more tools you have on, on your armor, the better you're prepared you are to deal with things. And if you can think of it in the terms of, maybe he's actually, maybe my boyfriend is actually racist himself, and he's just trying to piss his dad off. Maybe he's getting a kick out of that. Now, that's a good thing to know. And it doesn't mean that you're right, guys. It doesn't mean that I'm right. But it's a good thing to have in the back of your mind because at least you can play out all possible angles when it comes to figuring out what the fuck is going on. Why didn't my boyfriend tell me before this? Why didn't? Why would you think it's that awkward? I mean, it's his dad, not mine. So we can easily easily avoid his dad. I've only seen him once in this eight months, or seven eight months. So I can clearly get by again, you know. And if he does resent his dad to a degree, and he does like Asian girls, well, surely he has a bit of a stick against his dad, right? So why would he care? You know, why would he protect his dad that way? And if the dad is racist and he's loud about it, well, hey. I'm sure he's not the only one that knows about it. You know? You need to look at it from all possible angles, no matter how fucking ugly it can be. But it doesn't mean I'm right or you're right or you're wrong or I'm wrong. It doesn't mean anything. It just means look at it from that perspective and then maybe you'll figure out some shit. You know? I'd rather find out that my wife is cheating on me or my girlfriend's cheating on me now than fucking seven months down the line. I'd much rather know that because I've just saved seven months. I haven't wasted seven months. I've saved seven months of my life. That could be fucking one, two percent of my lifespan. Right? 
saving, minimizing wasted time because we all waste time with wrong people. We do. We just need to snap out of it quicker, right? So anyway, the dad clearly has problems with Asians, don't know why. And I'd like to know more, you know, why does the guy have a problem? Now, it's probably more he just, it's just racist. He just doesn't like, he has this disgust thing in his head and that's it. And Asians fall under that bracket, which is fucking crazy. Um, so then let's look at it on the other end. Let's justify her angle. She's going to feel awkward about this. 100% justifiable. She's not going to want to be around the dad. A hundred trillion percent justifiable. Is she going to break up with your man? Now that's a different story because this really does fall down on how she feels about it and how, and most importantly, how the guy treats the scenario. This is like, this is damage control at its best. I mean, it really is damage control at its ninja level. This guy's got to maintain this, you know? Because what happens if you do, like if anybody's in this situation, right? And you're about to meet the parents or the friends who are racist, okay? First of all, do you really want to go into this situation? Because you're the one that's going to be snarled at or get, a, get bullied, okay? You're the one that's going to be fucked over. Not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, right? Then they can, they can play victim all they want. Oh, I can't. I don't get a break. But fuck off. You're the one that's going to be in this and you're the one taking the, the fucking bullet. Not your boyfriend. And in this case, the boyfriend's not taking the bullet here, right? And in fact... Apparently, this guy's got to a stage where, well, look, you know, she's got a problem with my dad now. And, well, I've got to accept that she's going to be, a, she's going to be, uh, <sighs> she's going to be uh, not, not in a good way about this. Now, what I do like about this, this girl actually gave me the update about this. And she said that the boyfriend is looking at her like she's got problems. As in, like, she can't accept that the dad's like that. And, look, if he doesn't come up, if she doesn't come over to the house, well, isn't that a bit much? And he's trying to make it out that he's got the problem, the dad, right? So it's not her. So yet she shouldn't have a problem going over to the house anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ alive. Now that's some serious manipulation. That's insane. Don't be like, I hope this girl's feeling good in terms of, and anybody that's out there, you should feel good about yourself, right? You're not the one that's racist. Okay? You're clearly not, because if you are an Asian girl or an Asian guy, you're going out with a white girl or guy, well, hey, you're not racist. Unless you've got some hidden vendetta in the back of your head and you're trying to piss your parents off, but that's very rare occasions, extremely rare occasions. But still, you're not racist. Right? You're not the one with the big problem. Now, it's become your problem, yes, because the dad has the fucking problem. Now, if your boyfriend or girlfriend expects you to just suck it up and go around and have dinner with the folks who's racist, by the way, right, who'd probably love to fucking shoot you in the head <laughs> any moment you could when, you, when my boyfriend's gone to the toilet, you know, give me a break. Give me a fucking break. And, like, this doesn't come down to her accepting all these flaws in the dad. This comes down to the, the son either accepting that's the way dad is, and I'll never be around him ever again, unless I'll be around him but not with a girlfriend, or you have a big fucking conversation with the dad and get him to sort his shit out. You can't be pawning this off on someone else. Jesus Christ. There's no justification here for, for this guy. Understandable, awkward scenario, but this is like ever. This is like a lot of relationship problems, right? If there's something, whether it's your dad's a racist or A B C X Y Z, and something needs to be addressed, address the fucker. Okay, address the fucker. Hiding in the sand is not doing you any favors, and you can try and be the greatest Houdini you've ever seen in your life and try and get away with it for years, yeah, guess what, asshole? 
The problem's still under the carpet, by the way. You actually haven't swept, swept the problem away. It's under the carpet. Oh, you know, so guys, look, um, I feel, I feel, I feel bad for this girl, man. Jesus, what does she do? What does she do, huh? I hope that they, they can resolve this, and I hope the boyfriend cops on with his bullshit of manipulation. You know? God, and I, I understand, you know, you, you love your parents and everything. I understand, Jesus. But fuck, man, if this keeps going, it's not going to work. So if anybody's out there that is in the same situation, okay, your boyfriend or girlfriend is a different skin color, and the parent is a racist, or their friends are racist, fuck them. Do not meet them. Okay? They have to sort the problem out. You don't work around their problem. Because they have the f problem in the first place. They had a problem before they even met you. And all of a sudden you're going to come on and fix their problems? No. It's not going to do any good going for dinner and being polite and everything. It's not going to be any good for accepting that some harsh fucking jab thrown at you. It's not going to be okay with that. Because you're going to end up resenting your boyfriend or girlfriend if you end, if, because you're going to be saying to yourself, Why the fuck did I have to come along to this? See, your dad is an asshole. Here we go again. Every single fucking time. Okay? There's no way. Like, thank God my parents are not racist. Thank God. You know, and it's great. But if they were, there's no way I'd be bringing my girlfriend around. There's no way. You know? Like, I understand, okay, if, if it's a funeral and, you know, and somebody dies and everybody comes together. Yeah. Or if it's a... Jesus, even for Christmas Day, I'd, I'd avoid it like the plague. Honestly, I would avoid it like the fucking plague. Why do you want to be sitting in the same room as a racist? Now, guys, look, I'm probably going on and on, and it's probably so obvious what I'm talking about. But, like, why am I going on and on about it? Um, oh, man, it just... Shocking. Shocking. So, hey, guys, if there's anybody single out there, well... You know, it's all right being single. You're in a pretty good spot at the moment, especially after coronavirus. You know, look at what you got. You got nothing. And sometimes nothing is means you've got no problems, no shit to deal with. Okay? So, guys, I love you and I'm going to leave you. And I will be back again. Talk to you later, guys.